शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा येनाक्षर सधिगम्य महेशरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन ये नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनि वागर्थाव संपृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत जगत पितर वंदे पार्वती परमेशर ओ शाति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम वेलकम सो टुडे इन टुडेस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद कृदंता सो दिस इज आवर यू नो कंटिन्यूइंग विद आवर कृदंता सब्जेक्ट टुडे राइट सो कृदंता we've seen so far krityaha right in karmani and bhave so we saw the ya type tavya and aniya all called krityaha then we are started seeing this we finished this topic of kartari kritanta right kartari kritanta the krit pratyas which are kartari that denote the karta so we saw trich gul and quip and now we'll be seeing nishtha which is two called ta and tavatu okay we're going to see these so this is all on in the book page 55 to 63 we'll be seeing really 55 and 56 today so nishtha ta and tavatu today we'll be seeing ta okay so let's jump into that nishtha not nisha this is <laughs> nishta <laughs> and nishta right we know that is a sanskrit word right nishta is abidance or fir- firmness right abidance here nishta is a technical name okay so this is in our book nishta kitab and davatu this is our new topic that we're going to start all within kridanta these two suffixes are together given this technical name of nishtha so you can repeat after me nishtha kta so that's k t a kta and tavatu so ta and tavatu <laughs> ta tavatu okay so these two are given the technical name nishtha okay so even panini gave the name krak tavatu nishtha so you see how the sutra is written krak tavatu iti nishtha right so this these two are given this name here so today we're only going to really see ta so don't worry about tavatu right now okay so i know there's a lot to there's a lot to each of these so don't get too lost here ta denotes a few things it denotes karma karta and bhave okay we'll see but it can be both karmani and kartri okay but there's specific rules for that and bhave and the specific i mean it can be in past or present tense we're going to see all of this again tavatu only is kartri of a past action Okay, 
Why? So since they're not the same, why are they given the same name Nishta? Right? That might be the question. Nishta is given that specific name because there's certain grammatical rules applied only to these two suffixes. So now, Panini, instead of saying tak tavatu, he can reduce the number of si uh, syllables by just saying nishta. He can refer to both of those words, those with one word, nishta, ta and tavatu. So he's trying to reduce because in a sutra, you want to make as little syllables as possible. Um, so nishta does not mean, uh, you know, our usual Vedanta meaning of nishta. It has nothing to do with that. It's a technical name that I that he's given to these two pratyas. It doesn't mean abidance. It has no, no connection. Okay. Why he gave the name is because there's certain rules. And we'll see this again. We're going to see this further. But the of nishta changes into nakara. So we're going to see this in a moment. So don't worry about it. But I just want to give an idea that there's certain rules only applied to these. The ta of nishta turns into nakara. So for example, you see, pad plus ta, both the dakara and the takara become nakara. So it becomes panna. Another way we see this is in samasa. So buhuvri samasa, a nishta pratya ending word should come as purvapada, should come as the first word. So this is where Panini gives this. So for example, these are different Swami's names. Viditatman, Viditatma. Viditatma. The vidit, Vidita is a kta ending word. It's a nishta ending word. So that nishta ending word should come first in the samasa. Mudita Vadana. This is another Mudita Vadana. This is a Swami's name. <laughs> Mudita Vadana. In Gujarat. So <laughs> Mudita is a also is a nishta ending word. It should come first. Shuddha Sattva. Shuddha is a nishta ending word. It should be first. So these are just examples of why it's um, why it's given a technical name because there's certain rules where you need to that are only applied to these nishta. Okay, that much is all we need to know. Okay, so I see two questions, um, Haraprasadji, and then I'll take Neelam and Jesus' question. Yeah, you can. Uh, Mahodaya, I have a few questions. It may take more than our, about you know, three, four minutes, because I have questions from the previous class. Uh, maybe I should, shall I just send you an email now there? Yeah, that might be a, a good okay. idea. Since we All right. All right. Any now, questions with this? So yes, far? I, I have one question. Okay. Krut Pratyaya is a more than 100 Krut Pratyas are there. Now, there are subcategories in that. One of the subcategories, for example, we studied last week, which is Krutyaha. So similarly, Nishta is another subcategory of the same order. It's a subcategory of the same order, correct. Okay. Now, how do you know? You said the Nishta, uh, uh, the Takara of, I, can, I cannot, the pictures is obscuring the uh, letters, but uh, what I, my question is, Ta is not only the one letter. There is other letter just because you said now Shuddha. Shuddha is also a Nishta word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how is uh, we'll, we'll see all Takara? This. Yeah, we're going to see all this. We're all we're going to see all this. We're going to see all this. So it's um, um, just the, I'm just giving the idea of the word nishta right now. So we haven't even touched the topic yet. So I appreciate the question. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get at that. And so um, it's, it's kta, this letter in, in the font, it looks like this, but it is k-t-a, kta. 
ikta. So some teachers will say ikta. They'll put an e in front to make it easier to pronounce. But technically, right, we can't say it's not ikta. It's ta, ta. It's hard to say. And this is like bhakta. Like bhakta. Correct. Tava. Tu. And then there's the anuswara. But tava tu. Okay. Tava tu. Now, I'm covering up certain things because we will come back to them. I don't want to fill our mind with too much. I want to give us the basic idea first, okay? So let's look at the first one, which is kta, okay? Now, there's a few things to know regarding kta. Okay, what does it denote? It denotes the Karma. This is the main thing you want to know is kta is karmani. It denotes the karma. Okay. So kta, what comes to your mind? Karmani kta. Now, with that said, there's some exception. <laughs> in every rule in Sanskrit, there's an exception. It's not that this is not an exception. This is actually just another aspect of it. But it also can be kartari, can denote the karta when the meaning of the datu is going. It has to do with movement, going. It's called gatyartha. Gatyartha, gum, like, like gum datu. If it has a sense of gum, gati, gati means moving, gati artha, movement. So it has a sense of going then you'll get kartari. Or when the datu is intransitive. So we'll see this as well in a moment. Okay, Intransitive means it cannot take a karma. Certain datus cannot take a karma. For example, bhavati, bhu datu, you can't bhavati, you can't is something. Can is, can you, is anything be the object of something? You can have a karta of is, right? Ramaha bhavati, Rama is. But Rama is something, you can't is something. Right? So not all verbs have an object. Some verbs can just not have an object. Those datus are called intransitive, meaning they cannot take a karma. That, that is akarmaka. 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 So if it's a karmaka, then you take karta, right? <laughs> so the karta, so karma or karta for gatyartha, for the ones that are going, or when the datu is intransitive, cannot take a karma. And then it can also be bhava, you can have the action itself. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, remember, there's a basic sense of every kridanta and there's an additional sense. Yeah, do we remember that? Basic sense has to do with the karakas. So these three. Karma is the main one, but then you have to remember if it has to move with going, then it's karta or it's intransitive, okay? And then bhave sometimes happens. <laughs> bhave can always happen, so you just have to always have that in your mind, okay? Now, the additional sense. The additional sense is that past tense comes as the default. Past tense. We call this bhute. Bhute, bhuta is past. Okay, so you'll see the word bhute in past tense. So past tense is the default. Okay. And then, of course, there's some exceptions for that as well. <laughs> but okay, the first thing we want to just get for right now. Karmani bhute. It denotes the karma and it can be in past tense. Sometimes it can be kartari bhute or bhave bhute. Okay, but mostly it's going to be karmani bhute and you have these other options. If the meaning of the datu is these three things, desire, 
knowledge or worship <laughs> desiring knowledge or worship you just think of vedanta class either you desire knowledge or you desire karma yoga is desiring worship and jnana yoga is desiring knowledge that's the way you can remember right <laughs> then the tense can be present there's a chart that explains this so karmani kata okay it can be in bhute or it can be in present tense only when it's desire knowledge or worship right it's mostly it's karmani bhute but in some cases it can be in desire knowledge and worship it can be vartamane it can be in present tense vartamana vartamana means present tense Okay, same with bhave. In kartari, kartari is only when it has the meaning of uh, going or it's akarmaka. So you get those examples here. Devadattaha gramaham kataha. It's interesting. Light in English is you can have you can light something but in 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 sanskrit it's not it's akarmaka something is lit you can't lit jwal, jwal doesn't have an object that's a different word but you can't do kartari in present tense using ta Okay, this is a complex chart. That's why I hit it at first because it's too complicated. I don't know if it helps or makes it harder. <laughs> but we see these categories. This is the main thing, okay? Karmani, Bhute. And then you see the other chart, okay? We won't, we'll, we'll come back to this if we need. The content of Ta is just Takara, meaning meaning the, see, it's K-T-A, right? So it's T-A remains, but the kakara goes away. The ka goes away. So kakara is the it letter. When kakara is the it letter, then there's, you. it's the nisheda, the prohibition. You cannot have guna and vriddhi. So don't need to worry about guna and vriddhi when kakara is the it letter. Harprasad, do you have a question? Yes, Mahodaya. So in the in the chart you showed me about Devadattaha, Gramam, Gataha. Now, this is indicating a past tense mm -hmm. who has gone. Yes, who has gone. Now, can we say, then what is the difference between this one and saying Devadattaha, Gramam, Gatavan? Yeah, same. So Devadatta is the one who has gone. It, it's the same meaning. Both are. Um, but Gatavan is. So that itself. Yeah, it's a, it's going to come to the same meaning. There's no there's no difference in meaning between the two. Then because both are kartri, they point to the karta, right? Okay, so content is the kara, it letter is kakara, no guna and vriddhi. Okay, we're going to skip this. We'll come back to this in a moment, okay? The gender is it declines in three lingas, right? Three lingi, just like the rest of them that we've seen. The linga is determined by the linga of the noun, which this word qualifies. Okay, declension in punlinga and napumsaka linga, the ta ending pratipadika declines as a ending, like ramavat or nyanavat, depending on punlinga or napumsaka linga. In Sri Linga, 
this feminine suffix a is added to the ending pratipadika and it declines like a ending feminine like gangavat okay so it's pretty simple brahma jnana or ganga we do have to practice ganga i always say that we never do okay vigraha vakyam these words the ending words are very common and so the vigraha vakya is not much seen because it's a word that doesn't need explanation for people who know sanskrit <laughs> right so it's not much seen for this krit if necessary we can do a word that consists of the datu and a pratya with the same meanings will be used just like haraprasad gave that example they have the same meaning so you can give one word to give the other words meaning right if you need if you want to do that so some teachers may do that okay okay nilimanji you have a question you have to unmute yourself yeah okay um could you please show that chart from behind the gataha so now is that do we need to know it if it's a lot lakara or lit lakara or lat lakara it doesn't matter no the, there will be no lakara really okay. um, because devadatena gramam gatam from what i remember you teaching us is the devadatena is by devadatta gramam is gramam is the object the karma and gatam is gone or going so now here it says that has been reached so that part was a little confusing to me okay so i'll explain that yeah absolutely so what happens is think of okay now i'm going to mute you for a moment now usually we have we look at the verb first okay sometimes after the verb you look at the krit kridanta so let's look at the kridanta the first thing we'll look at kridanta gatam gatam is has karmani sense and bhute past tense now just like when we ask on a verb we ask is it kartri or karmani that we do still need to ask if it's karmani then the first case right will be the karma of this right It, grama is napumsaka linga is that correct? okay Gramam. okay <laughs> that caused me some good. so gramam will be first case right like phalam or nyanam so gramam gatam the village has been reached grama the village has been reached now when we have in karmani the karta will be in third case right kartri tritiya when we're in karmani when we're in karmani then the the karta will be in third case so devadattena gramam gatam the village has been reached by devadatt so because this is karmani all the kartas will be in third case when we're in kartri kta then the karta will be in first case now we have devadattah gramam gatam gramam will look the same <laughs> but devadatta is the one who is gone to the village because now gramam is two one here but gramam 21 and gramam 11 look the same like nyanam but here it's gataha because now we're talking about the karta devadatta is the one they're both in samanadikaranam is the one who is gone to the village yeah is that clear 
Yes, excellent. Very clear. Now, now I, the karta, because of the karmani, it becomes, has been reached and becomes gatam and deva, there's no karma, there is no karta in that. And in kartari is devadatta, is the first case karta. It's very clear. Thank you. Perfect. Um, Romila Ji, do you want to unmute and ask the question? Yeah, I have uh, two questions. One is, you said Ramavat. So, Ramavat and Gnanavat and all, where did the work come from? Vinota, how did the work come? And uh, the second, I wanted a clarification with it. Devadattena Gramam Gatam. So, Gramam is uh, two one. So, Gatam also becomes two one, correct? Um, in, the, in, the, in the Karmani. And in the Kartari, Gramam is one one and uh, gram, Gramam is one one and Gataha is one one. Correct? Okay, is it so how? Let me let me clarify that. Yeah, I'll answer that question first. So here, uh, Gatam is the first case. And Gramam uh, is the first case. Second. Here, Gramam is the first case. It's it's neuter word. So it's like um, Palam. It ends with Am. So, yes. because in Karmani, the first case is told, the karma is told in the first case. Right? Karmani. Just like um, we would say, um, in, in, when we're doing Karmani verbs, the karma will be in the first case. Yes. Yeah. So here, in the same way, because it's Karmani, the karma, the object, will be in the first case. So, gramam gatam. These are both first case words. Mm -hmm. And and devadatte. Here, devadattaha gramam gataha. Here, gataha is still first case, but now the karta will be in first case because we're in kartri. How come gataha is gatam in first case in one and gataha in the other? That was my... Yeah. So here, gramam is in second case. So because here, the gatam is going with gramam. It's going with the karma. So therefore, both of these words are going to be napumsaka linga because it's qualifying grama. Here, the gataha is, is referring to the karta, devadatta. So now gataha is going to be punlinga word. The same word will change genders because they're qualifying different gendered words in each sentence. So how do you, how do you say it, for instance, gataha? Mm. Yeah. Related so, to the gataha, yeah. Uh, like the translation of the sentence is that no 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 explanation uh say gataha is samanadhikaranam to devadattaha is that what so, you say gataha is samanadhikaranam with devadattaha correct so therefore both are punlinga and both are in the first case i mean gender yeah it it's it's samana and the karam. They're both going to be in first case. They also happen to take the same gender because the word that it qualifies, it'll take that gender. Okay, this will be more clear. We'll we'll see more examples. So other other question was how, why did it become Ramavat? Where did the va come from? Yeah, Ramavat has nothing to do with ta. Ramavat, um, that's a different pratyaya which we haven't learned. When we want to say like something, we say vat. So Ramavat means like Rama. It has nothing to do with this. Da. That's a different, I'm just Ramavat. Ramavat means like Ram. We'll see it. That's a different pratyaya which we'll get later. Thanks. Like, okay. Okay, so let's look at this example, how we make it. So, nya datu, akrit pratekta is suffixed to datu nya to no. Okay, right? Now, the ka kara of ta is the it letter and hence it's removed. So, I have nya plus ta. 
Now we just join them that become this is nyata being kridanta. This is a pratipadikam. Nyata. The meaning of nyata is it's an object, right? Karmani. Object in past tense. Object which has been known. So this is karmani bhute vyutpattihi. Object which has been known. How come it can't be kartari? Because if we, if we remember, kartari, um, it, it can be also kartari, but right when we say kartari is in sense of desire, knowing, oh, sorry, this is sorry, kartari, kartari here, kartari is only with gatyartha. Right? It has to do with going. So because this is going, it cannot be kart. It's not going. It's kart. It's knowing. Right? Knowing is not the same as going. <laughs> so it cannot be kartari. And it's not a karmaka. You can know something. Right? So it's only going to be karmani or bhave. And here it is desire, knowing, or worship. So it can be either past or present tense. We can take it at either. Here, we've taken it as bhute, as past. How do you know? You don't know until you understand the intention of the speaker. Whether it's going to be past or present tense. Okay. So here, it... It would mean the object which has been known, or it can be the object which is known. They're both karmani, but one is in past tense, the second is in present. So the meaning of this word, nyata, is the object which has been known. Thumbs up, thumbs aside, thumbs down if you're like totally lost. <laughs> Can we get a thumb from everyone? <laughs> up to the side or down? Okay, a little bit to the side, a little bit up. Okay. Nyata, nyadatu, to know. Takara, which is karmani, and it's in the past. So it's the object which has been known in the past. Okay. Let's see some other examples. Kridatu to know plus kta, right? I just add it together, I get krita. The object or that which it has been done. The object which has been done. Right? If something is krita, then it's it's been done. It's the object of doing right in the past tense nyata that which has been known bu plus ta that which has been there Shru plus the shruta, that which has been heard. Hu plus the huta, that which has been sacrificed. Okay? So, so far, all we need to know is karmani bhute. Okay? That's all we need to know for today. If you get that much, then we're okay. Don't worry about the chart. That's why I covered it up at first. Right now, we're just karmani bhute. The object which has been done in the past, or the object of something in the past. So these are some examples of that, where you're just combining them. Krita, Nyata, Bhuta, Shruta, Huta. <laughs> okay. So we have to we we can pause here. Is there any questions with these words right here on the screen? Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, yeah, so we'll pause there. The next part is going into a new topic and we're already about at time. So we're going to, we'll, we'll end there. All we needed to know for today is we're talking about nishtha pratya. Nishtha is ta and tavatu. Nishtha kta. Nishtha kta refers to karmani. It's a karmani kridanta in the past tense, mostly. <laughs> well, for now, that's what we want to know for now. But there are, we can also see it in kartari when, it's gat, when it has the meaning going, or there's no karma, or in bhave. And there's some exceptions for present tense as well. Okay. We don't need to know all of that right now. All we know, need to know right now is karmani bhute. That's the main thing. If you catch the rest, that's good. The content is takara. And takara, there's no guna and vriddhi because the kakara denies that. And it's going to take, it's going to decline like rama, jnana, or ganga. And it takes the gender of the word that it's qualifying. It's also usually samanadi karanam with the word that it's qualified. Okay. So with that, we'll end. Om Shanti 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 He Hariti Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hariti Om. We'll see more examples, but here are some more on this on the screen. And these are all words that you've heard. Right? Viditatma, Vidita, Viditatma Nanda Swamiji. <laughs> Binna, Anna, Prapanna, Prasanna, Prasanna Vadanam Dhyayet. Right? All of these are words which you've seen. And so it's so common. Anna, that which has been eaten. So we haven't seen these examples yet. These are um, slightly, the, there's slightly more change, changes that take place. But gata, gata, nata, nata, yata, hata. We, so we've seen some of these words in our Vedanta class as well. Do you have a question? My question was when the when you use the word nishta, the tavarga, does that do the whole tavarga like the the the, the because shuddha, mudita shuddha, whatever that word was, I forget. That yeah, was we, not a per word. We, we'll see that. We haven't even touched that yet. Okay, all right. Yeah, Thank we you. haven't touched that yet. We'll see that next. Okay. Mahodaya, do we have uh -huh. class next week? We next do not have class next week. We do not have class next week because we're going to be switching texts and then we'll, this will continue the following Thursday. Okay, so not next week, but the following week. Thank you for reminding.